In this module, we will look at the oxygen system installed on the aircraft. First, we will start out with a brief system description. Next, we will look at the crew oxygen system, the passenger oxygen system, and the cabin portable oxygen bottles. Finally, we will review the controls and indicators associated with the oxygen system. The oxygen system is designed to supply oxygen to the flight deck crew members, the cabin crew members, and the passengers. The amount of oxygen is calculated to supply 25% of the passengers with a continuous diluted flow of oxygen for a period of 30 minutes. This 30-minute period includes 4 minutes to allow the aircraft to descend from 25,000 feet down to 13,000 feet and then 26 minutes to continue flight at altitudes between 13,000 and 10,000 feet. Oxygen is not required for flights below 10,000 feet. In addition to these times, there is sufficient oxygen to supply the three flight deck crew members for a total of 120 minutes. 10 minutes are calculated for a descent from 25,000 feet down to 13,000 feet. The remaining 110 minutes are valid for flight altitudes between 13,000 and 10,000 feet. A high pressure cylinder supplies oxygen to the flight crew and the passenger cabin through a distribution system. The status of the oxygen distribution system is displayed in the top left hand corner of the cabin system page. Two portable oxygen bottles are stowed under the cabin attendant seats. These bottles are equipped with a diluter oxygen mask. Each bottle will supply a continuous diluted flow of oxygen for up to 30 minutes, at a cabin altitude of 13,000 feet. The capacity of the high-pressure oxygen bottle is 2,180 liters. The nominal pressure of the bottle is 1,850 psi. A reducer downstream of the bottle reduces the oxygen pressure to 78 psi. The pressure of the oxygen bottle is indicated on a gauge, located on the top of the bottle. Another gauge on the oxygen panel located in the upper right area of the overhead panel, indicates the bottle's pressure as well. The minimum pressure required for normal operations is 1,400 psi. Flights may be conducted with pressures below this value, but you must consult your flight crew operating manual to determine the required quantity for the intended flight. In the event of an overpressure on either side of the pressure reducer, the content of the bottle will be discharged through a port located just forward of the main cargo door. The blowout disc needs to be checked during the pre-flight inspection to ensure that an overpressurization has not occurred. A normal disc will appear green. Oxygen from the bottle is distributed to the flight crew through a low pressure supply valve. A passenger supply valve, located downstream of the low pressure supply valve, controls the distribution of oxygen to the passenger oxygen system. The low pressure supply valve is open when the main supply push button on the oxygen panel is in the in position. Once the valve opens, reduced pressure oxygen is available to the flight crew and passenger oxygen system if the passenger supply valve is open. The flight deck receives oxygen through quick donning masks. These oxygen masks are stowed in a receptacle adjacent to each pilot's seat. In order to don the mask, squeeze the two red tabs together and pull the mask out of its container. The flight crew oxygen mask is designed so that it can be donned with one hand. 
oxygen pressure is used to inflate the harness. Squeezing the red tabs will inflate the harness, but not until the mask is removed from the receptacle. Once the mask is placed over the nose and mouth, release the two tabs and oxygen pressure is removed from the harness. The harness collapses and maintains the mask in place. The additional crew member mask has a lengthened tube to allow the observer to reach the cargo compartment. The crew oxygen container compartment has two hinged doors that allow easy removal of the masks. The left door has a test reset push button that allows oxygen flow when the door is opened. The push button also automatically activates the mask microphone and disables the boom microphone. When oxygen is flowing to the masks, an indicator on the upper left door displays a yellow cross. When oxygen stops flowing, the yellow cross disappears. Once the oxygen mask is out of its stowage box, the boom microphone function can be recovered by closing the oxygen mask container doors. The oxygen flow is interrupted by pressing the test push button. And the yellow cross indication disappears. Oxygen is distributed to the passenger oxygen system by opening the passenger supply valve. This valve is opened when the passenger supply push button is in. When the passenger supply valve is open, the on light in the push button illuminates blue. Oxygen is distributed to the passengers through oxygen masks located below the cabin overhead bins once the passenger supply valve is open. The masks have a reservoir bag that fills up with oxygen continuously. During inhalation, oxygen flows into the mask until the bag is emptied. Then, cabin air is inhaled. During exhalation, oxygen stops flowing to the mask while the reservoir bag is refilled, and exhaled air goes out the mask vents. Each supply hose has a flow indicator for a visual check of oxygen flow. A portable oxygen bottle, located under each cabin attendant seat, supplies oxygen through a continuous, diluted flow mask to both cabin attendants. These portable bottles can be used for periods of depressurization, or for passenger medical purposes. The flow of oxygen to the flight crew and passengers is controlled by the oxygen panel, located on the flight deck overhead. The low pressure supply valve is controlled by the main supply push button. When this push button is in, low pressure oxygen is available to the flight crew masks and the passenger supply valve. Click on the main supply push button to continue. When the main supply push button is released out, the main supply valve closes and the off light illuminates white. The low pressure light illuminates amber when the pressure downstream of the pressure reducer is below 50 psi. In addition, the master caution lights flash, a single chime will sound, an amber ox E label is displayed on the EWD, and an amber low pressure label is displayed on the MFD cabin page. The passenger supply valve is controlled by the passenger supply push button, also located on the oxygen panel. When the passenger supply push button is in, the passenger supply valve is opened downstream of the crew supply valve, and the blue on light is illuminated. Releasing the push button closes the passenger supply valve. The crew oxygen mask consists of two red release tabs, a yellow cross indicator an N100% rocker switch, and a reset test push button.
Squeezing the two red tabs unlocks the stowage doors and supplies pressurized oxygen to inflate the mask harness. An indicator displays a yellow cross when oxygen is flowing. If the indicator is black, it means that oxygen is not flowing. The indicator will momentarily display a yellow cross when the two red tabs are squeezed together. Normal operation is for oxygen to flow only during inhalation. The mask can be set to deliver 100% oxygen. This is accomplished by pressing the rocker switch to the 100% position. When the rocker switches in the end position, the mask will deliver diluted oxygen. The test reset push button is used to test the oxygen mask without removing it from the stowage container. This push button is spring loaded to the reset position. This test should be performed prior to each flight. The test can be performed provided the main supply push button is pushed in. Pushing the test reset push button will supply oxygen to the mask and the yellow cross will momentarily appear in the indicator. The flow of oxygen can be heard on the overhead speaker by checking that the loudspeaker is on and set to the desired volume. The push to talk selector on the control wheel should be set to the forward interphone position and interphone reception on the audio control panel should be selected as well. The crew oxygen mask regulator consists of an emergency selector knob and an unlock rocker switch. The emergency selector knob controls the pressure of the oxygen delivered to the mask. The knob will function when the N100% rocker switch is in the 100% position. The delivery pressure increases by rotating the knob in the direction of the arrow. When dilution control is set to 100%, pure oxygen will be delivered. Up to 15 minutes of oxygen can be delivered to all three crew members at demand flow. Pressing the emergency selector knob will supply oxygen at full pressure. When the smoke goggles are used, a 0.5 PSI supply of oxygen can be delivered in order to positively pressurize the smoke goggles and purge any smoke that may have accumulated inside the goggles. This will also aid in preventing fogging. This concludes the oxygen module.